Hello commanders and welcome in part 11 of the Chilean Empire series. In the last part where we lost our stack of 5 cruisers near the coasts of the United Kingdom, Germany has destroyed us and now it's the time for the payback. Today's episode is going to be about hunting the German ships. Now our naval patrol aircrafts they are ready, our second max level stack of cruisers is ready. Uh, United Kingdom has recovered the city of Reykjavik, this is because of the German cruisers that killed my national guards. I don't know when Germany had the cruisers, only in the last episode he made the level 4 naval bases, looks like he made them very very fast, but now it's the time we need to locate those navies. Uh, the notification of losing Reykjavik is not very old, so 100% the German navies they are still nearby, near the Iceland coasts. I'm going to uh, inspect with my naval patrol aircraft and I'm going to use them to annihilate the German ships. So after locating the German ships, we are going to march with our stack of cruisers near the coasts of the United Kingdom because he had the time to rebuild. Now he rebuilt his uh, naval bases. I'm going to upgrade my uh, SAMs and also start the research of the ballistic missiles. I need the, to do the research of the ballistic missiles in order to have the cruise missiles. I said in the last episode that it's very important to have the cruise missiles with my naval patrol aircrafts because this combo is deadly and it's going to be very efficient. There is a naval radar near the city of La Coronia. I'm going to see it. I don't want to attack it first because it might be uh, another player. It's not Germany or United Kingdom. So I need to inspect first and see who is it. I have two cruisers now, they are ready from the city of Buenos Aires, I'm going to send them to the front. This one is healing in the shallow waters. I have a third one also, is ready. I'm going to use these cruisers to uh, secure our uh, Latin America coasts. Because you know, the presence of the Europeans in the African continent is going to complicate things for us because we need to build a naval wall between Africa and uh, Latin America in order to save ourselves. So I was right, it wasn't Germany or United Kingdom, it was a Finnish destroyer. By the way, Finland is also one of their allies, but it's not the time now to attack him. I need first to locate the German navies and destroy them, later on bombard the coastal cities of the United Kingdom and prevent him from rebuilding his navies. Later on, let's go to Germany. Meanwhile, this is the table. Germany is the first one, Ukraine second, I am third, and France is the fourth. France, he went on a beast mode in North. America, he destroyed entirely Canada, and now he is moving to Mexico. Our cruisers, they are still advancing. This is uh, a French air superiority fighter patrolling there. You see that uh, United Kingdom has already rebuilt his uh, naval bases in the city of Edinburgh, Dublin uh, and uh, also in Aberdeen. I need to act fast now, I need to really act fast to prevent them from making more ships. This is my stack of five uh, strikers, I'm going to put them here. In case uh, Germany sends heavy bombers or something like that, I will have my strikers that will defend that airfield. That airfield is very important for our naval patrol aircrafts to operate from. You see that Germany has already, he has conquered already Cape Town, which is the farthest point in the continent of Africa up the south. So 100% he can easily disembark from that city and come to us. This is why I was speaking about the naval blockade between South America and Africa. I'm going to make that with my cruisers. Also with the, the AWACS patrolling and naval patrol aircraft. I need to take all the security measures to keep my homeland nation secured after the invasion of the United Kingdom, which, which was a surprising attack that we did not anticipate. And the German navies, they have been located under the coast of the city of Reykjavik. Our AWACS have located it, this is very good. Now it's the work of our naval patrol aircrafts to start the assault. Now the operation huntsman, 
It's going to start. So that's stack have cruisers, and there is a potential that it have also frigates. We don't know yet, but 100% that that stack have cruisers. Uh, in the notifications, it said that uh, cruisers, stack, etc., have uh, annihilated our uh, national guards. So if there was destroyers or frigates with that stack, it will be named task force. This is very important, guys, to read the notifications because you will have a lot of information from uh, that notifications. So it's going to be good for our naval patrol aircrafts to annihilate those uh, cruisers. Why? Because he newly made those cruisers, so 100% max, 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 they will be uh, level 2 cruisers. So let's go now. We are going to patrol that task force with our, with the edge of the patrol radius of our naval patrol aircraft. This is a very important maneuver in the naval warfare and also in the aerial battles. The cruisers on the air is uh, not very much. It's not compared with the frigates. So we need to attack with the edge of that attack cone, of the attack circle. Why? To avoid the offensive of those on tier. We will be damaged only with the defensive points of those on tier of the cruisers. You understand that whenever you approach, the cru uh, approach a cruiser, it will attack you with its on tier and later on when you establish contact and attack it, it will also damage you with the defensive point. But in this case, if you attack with the, with the edge of your uh, patrol radius, you can trick that on the air and it will not attack you. You will only be damaged with the defensive points of the cruisers at the moment of the attack. You will see now what will happen. One second guys, I am patrolling with the edge of the circle. I'm waiting for the MPA to be there. And in this moment, the contact has been established. You can see there that I have been damaged only by the defensive point of those cruisers. Let's see in the news. And Germany has lost two cruisers in one single strike. This is the strength of the naval patrol aircraft, guys. This is what I was talking about. And also the damage was minor. We did not receive a lot of damage on our NPA. So in the second strike, we might destroy that task force. I have this uh, stack of naval patrol aircrafts also, which is patrolling the coasts of the United Kingdom. I might use it to assault those moving German forces down the south. I need to keep my AWACS out of the way of those cruisers, I don't want it to be damaged. It's going to be a while until my NPA goes back to Azores and refuel and come back. So um, I might use my third stack of naval patrol aircrafts. This is my fighter, I'm going to put it there, patrolling all over my um, island. The role of that fighter is quite impressive and very important, you know why? Because United Kingdom or Germany can send a bomber at any time, so that uh, air superiority fighter is going to save us from such an attack. Okay, I decided to send my uh, stack of uh, recons to destroy those moving German forces. I need to kill them before they come to the south. I need to focus on the naval bases of the British uh, lands. Later on, I need to move straight to the coastal cities of Germany and destroy those two level 4 naval bases. The naval base of Dublin has been destroyed. Let's move now near Belfast and Glasgow. He have a lot of, he have more naval bases there near in Oslo, Tromso and also in Stockholm and he is also going for the level 4 naval base. The European team understood the utility and the importance of the naval battle and the ships. See you guys in part 12 and we shall see if our operation is going to be successful. See you guys and bye bye.